Tech here at Cardiff today with Ali and we're looking at a walker today. Can you tell us what this model is? Yes, so this is our Spire Vogue um, carbon fibre walker. So this one is our medium size and we also have it available in a tool as well. Okay, so why would we choose carbon fibre over some of the older models out there? Yeah, so carbon fibre is great um, for clients who might want to take their walker out and about with them, say to the shopping centre or off to an appointment. So the carbon fibre is obviously a really lightweight material so they can fold it down, get it in and out of their vehicle quite easily and this one comes in at um, 5 kilos. And this folds much much differently than the older models with the X frame um, fold. Yes. Ability to just pull up through the middle. Um, it has a clip design here for it to be able to stay together. So the old models used to fold this way and you're like wrangling them all over the place. Absolutely, you sort of yeah. pick it up like this and try, try and get and... it into the car. So. That's right, yeah. So this one folds together, I guess, like a pram. Yep. Clips together, stays together, it's not going to sway apart when yep. we're trying to get it in and out of a vehicle. And the way that folds too kind of decreases the working weight of it. So even if you had a lightweight frame that folded this way, it kind of is heavier by how far you often hold it away from yourself and try and get it in. If this is so compact, you can keep it close. You can often get it into the boot nice and easy if you're a carer or support person. So it does come at a higher price than, so all of the carbon fiber, newer types of models are usually a much higher price than some of our um, older style walkers. However, my recommendation to clients around that price consideration usually is that they're a much better build and they just last almost forever versus if you buy an old walker for $140 or something sometimes you might only get a year or so out of it especially if the old brake mechanisms um, go if you're going to ask a supplier to come out and fix that it's often dearer than what the walker was to begin with yeah yeah i'm um, just back to the folding as well we can also take the basket off, so unlike the old style of frame where they do fold in half that way, we can remove the basket from this one with our goodies in it, pop it in the front seat of the car, whatever we have to do, and close it up that way. Unlike the other ones where you used to have to unpack yep. the basket Almost before like you fold it. Almost like a handbag. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Um, some of the other features that we always look at is light touch brakes, really easy if someone's living with osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, neurological um, conditions, decreased strength, very easy in terms of being able to operate the brakes both in push down and pull up. Um, you have these sorts of tabs on the back of the walker to be able to lift up over little thresholds nice and easy. Um, the walker wheels are a big consideration. A lot of the older models had very small four inch wheels, so very small. The larger models uh, wheels now, they still have a good turning circle on the wheel. So indoors they can move quite well, but it gives you that ability to move nicely over unstable terrain. And you know, even a smooth footpath can still have little bumps and rocks that could be a falls risk. These move over it nice and easy. Yeah. Um, any other features that you'd like to cover? Um, some other features that I love to talk about on this walker is the handle height adjustment. So obviously most walkers have that ability, but on the Vogue carbon fibre we've got something called auto locate and we've actually got numbers as well. So on the old style ones where you had to match up to the count, whole... You count your numbers. Yeah, <laughs> twist the trine. I didn't realise you've, you've got it lopsided. This one, when we loosen off that trine it actually clicks into place, you can hear it, find its spot, you can check that the number matches up on both sides, and you know you've got... And you don't have one handle one, one way, which is, exactly. becomes really important if you're quite dependent on upper limb support. So some people will rely on the walker quite heavily as they're walking, and that could be a risk if you're quite lopsided, so it is a really nice feature. Um, anything else? So yeah, um, the safe working load is something we haven't covered yet and the safe working load for this model here is 150 kilos. Yeah, and having that high safe working load is really important because it allows us to have confidence as well if somebody is carrying additional load in the bag or they're maybe holding on to a grandchild or something as well. So knowing that there is that is quite a high safe working load for such a small walker and the benefit of the carbon fibre as well. So. Some walkers are much lower than that and having a nice threshold gives you real confidence in the integrity of that sitting on it with holding on to different pieces. That's a really good factor. 
yeah, I think we've covered a lot there on of what to focus on with a walker. Carbon fiber, X-fold, my favorite type of walker to prescribe. Always being conscious of price for people, however, but we have those conversations around the pros and cons of something at the higher end versus the lower end, and then give people choice and control of um, having that walker that's best for them. Thanks so much for your time. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.